Hoffman. He's doing well. We miss you, Zeke. Get well. Yep. Let's get ready for baseball. Morehouse's first pitch. Morehouse's payoff pitch. Got it by him upstairs. Comes up with the strikeout. Boom. On the ground, Thomas with his first opportunity. Over to the bag. And here comes Coach's right, right. first start. And I think they had seven assists or eight assists that night as well. Ripped into right off of the glove of Thomas. And on his way to second base is Clements to throw to second. Is in time. <laughs> Not going to slide this time of the year. Been an outstanding coach. Breaking ball dropped in there for a strike. Back with a backdoor breaker right there. That ball had transfer. This is on the ground to third. It's messenger across the diamond. One, two, three. Goes the varsity here. <laughs> We're going to be out here for an hour, so uh, it, it was one after another. Ball popped up right side. DC has it. And you just look back at it, and the other thing. For some reason, I got to get every old ball and, and use that. So, but uh, hello to everybody at home in Houston. I know they're offensively yep. then. And uh, boy, he had, hey, he had a home run last Saturday. He got all in the middle of it. This one a little bit off the end of the bat on a breaking ball. Out to Faltini. It's hard for me to say Faltini. I know. Field. <laughs> and, you know, he's a guy that's a veteran. You know, been around the game a long time. David Hamilton to his right. Can he get this done? That is what David Hamilton. <laughs> what do you mean? Can he in that box, too. And in, in his transition over to third base, as you see him missing his ball back up the middle, his transition to third base was impressive. The portal and get older guys, or you can get the best high school guys. And, in, and again, these guys, the talent levels, they're going to be there, in, whether it's April or later on in their career. From USC with an opportunity here. Base hit and a miscue. And that ball hitting. That hurt. That got in on that right elbow. The longer for it to unfold. And yeah, it can be, Keith. I'm, and be honest with you, and create a different angle for you. The one two on the ground. Shart. Hamilton in a hurry. Does get there in time, and that ends the inning. But Monday, because we took Tuesday off, and so we're right on schedule. On the ground is short. Daly's throw across the diamond in time, you know. In the fan base, and, uh, and we learn from him. I mean, Tress is an awesome guy to work with our Texas. I said, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> there goes Campbell to throw downstairs into second base. Well, that, uh, Getting a hit base hit off a dress, and that's probably the only bat I remember ever in an alumni game. It was off a dressing door for and I was so excited. And uh, it's just great. And I was talking to Coach Pierce about it as well, and I said, you know what's even better? I said, you know, oh, these these kids and they're still kids to me. And this ball popped up. Infield was drawn up and tagging is Campbell from third. He will score gets on the board. But my how about the offense back right there? You, you find a way to get on base. Nice opposite field base hit. No doubt. But how do you make that decision that you're going to go? Here's the three two pitch. On the ground, this is a fair ball. Gonna be a tough play. Skyler across the diamond in time. Boy, he is slick playing third base. Oh, he, oh man, he's so classic. <laughs> he is so classic with his story. And it's interesting that, 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 that our guys in the truck, this ball hit pretty well by Ellis. Into the gap in left center. Get out of town! Duke Ellis! Boy, Keith, he does an unbelievable job of getting his hands just inside this baseball. And I mean, he just electrifies it with that barrel. That ball was kind of running in on him a little bit. And he did a good job at, of cutting it off and hitting it out to right center. And uh, some older memory or something that it draws back into your mind about what you need to do, you know, to, to make an adjustment and make a change. I tell you what, the last inning, he was impressive getting over to the first base side of the, yeah. of the home plate. You, I mean, he was driving that. that ball. He was getting over his fingers over the top and really driving it through there. This could be two. Nice turn and a tough guy to turn in David Hamilton. Actually for left-handed hitters. You know, and he, he Cody hadn't changed much of his stance. He hasn't, I mean, it's still pretty much very similar to what it was when he was here. Good slider right there on a 3-2 pitch. Gets the strikeout. Longhorn and 
And uh, Zeke was up there coaching as well. And I went up there. It's been a week. Bullet to right field. That is an impressive piece of hitting. Like every game, every pitch, that guy was out there toughing it out. And there goes the runner. A little hit and run on the ground. Trey has to go to first. Gets away from Zubia. That ball back into the corner. And the no out recorded. They didn't have a chance to get the one at first base. Actually, in this ballpark, we'll get to it after this 1 2 delivery. Diving to his left. Can he get an out? Yes, he can. He does get the out at second base, but his third plate appearance, 0 for 2 as he steps in. Chases one upstairs. But but it's also foreign to where it's going. So that's the part on the trust that you're yep. referring to that, you know, it's just not the same. Campbell puts a charge into this one to left. This is back off the wall. Todd gets it back in. They're going to hold the runner right there. Uh, Dylan Campbell. On the ground. Underhands in time, and that ends the inning. Oh, man, I'm telling you. Thanks, Steve. All right, guys. Richard, have a good one. Time. This ball lead off base hit into the corner by Trace Barrera. Now we take the opportunity, come upstairs into the. You chose to come to University of Texas. Yes, sir. So if you were going to tell people now. You've, you've yeah. hung with them for two and a half years here since uh -huh. you, you got on campus, and a lot of these, this ball hit pretty well. Is that a homer? Oh, double. Uh, that's that little short porch dead in the left. You didn't. Yeah. Positions are just first. Um, right now I'm playing third. 70% of the time I'm playing third. Okay. And then I go over to first, uh, you know, two games a week with, a, you know, DH one time as your off day. Not yeah. so much an off day, it's just the DH. Sitting next to you, who was a really, really, you know, pretty decent hitter himself, oh, yeah. by the way. Yeah, I see the name. <laughs> so all of a sudden says, he is a referring to you. Uh -huh. On the board there and get back in this ball game. Yeah, they were able to. And now, you know, just they score and you know, like thoughts, you can gain a lot of momentum and how you're going to do things. This ball hit pretty well. Hodo can't get to it. It's going to be back off of the wall. Daly will round third on his way to the plate. RBI double. Jack O'Dowd, and it's a 4-2 ball game. Steps back in. Off the end of the bat, going to be a tough play. Hamilton, huh? no substitute for speed right there to be able to run that ball down. Player, It would be miles a day. Yes. Miles yep. a day. And they may not come very often, but that would be uh, Todd runs this ball down. Ball hit pretty well right there. Energy levels back. You start to talk to them. The whole time you're talking to them about, their, you know, their, their eating and they're, you know, uh, trying to stay hydrated and different things. It's muscle to left. Playable for Todd right on the track, puts it away, and that ends the inning. So that part of the plate becomes his. It changes you as a hitter because you're you're looking out there. This ball hit pretty well. Cam Williams back off the wall, headed out towards second base, and in there with a leadoff double. But you know, he's a guy that's athletic. He was able to move over to to uh, first base and and fill right in. Baseman, I mean his his reach as a first baseman and his ability to work through the struggle with runners in scoring position. There goes Ellis, ball chopped on the ground. Daly to his right, gets that, makes the play, gets the out. Ellis going around to third, how about, how about that hustle? <laughs> and um, off at of the end of the bat, gonna be a tough play, not gonna get Ellis. The only out is at first, and we have a tie ball game. 2-2 two -two delivery. That's a fair ball, down into the corner. Whitehead on his way to second base with a two out double. Got him. Ends the inning to make your game even better. I mean, I think, you know, you always know that your stuff's good enough and it's going to get. I don't know. I don't know either. I mean, we, we, we have a USGA handicap. And for you to get that barrel in position to even put any kind of great swing on it, and I mean, that thing's coming out of his hand in a hurry. Command and repeat. There goes Campbell. Throw to second base, not in time. We got a really good sound crew, too. So yeah, that's true. Very true. <laughs> Ball hit to center, going back. It's Whitehead able to run it down. I always felt like that, that opening on the road, this ball hit on the ground. Nice play by O'Dowd. Can he get it out? Oh, it gets away. That's a good effort to try to get it out. 
And uh, and so, you know, three catchers was always – so to have a guy that could be that third catcher, play outfield. It's 190 pounds. There goes the runner. Throw to second base. Not in time. Afonia is a hitter. Misses upstairs. That Did way. it. The thumb right. gets thumb, underneath. Thumb gets underneath it. Ball hit pretty well to center. Put away by Kennedy. Tech foul ball or swing over the top of it. To right, playable for Campbell. Looking up into the sun, puts it away. Okay, net, net. so thanks you to this ball hit on the ground by Daly. Across the diamond for the out. To, it, it, more because they had to respect the inner half a lot more with something coming in. And I, it's one of my new favorite pitches is throwing right on right changeup. And he does. Comes up with the strikeout. We go to the eighth. Have the ability. And the one thing they do lack a lot of times is understanding the game and understanding how to go out there and get the out. Him last night, and uh, uh, you, you can tell it, he's a very cerebral young man. Yes. You know what you're going to get when Heston's out there every time he shows up. He's professional. He knows how to hold runners. It's just like there's reason they hire people at, at the NFL yep. to, to call plays. I mean, there are people that have an art of doing it. Boy, a dynamite pitch. Um, there's a lot of things and people that are going to be able to, to, to ooh. Oh, JT! Um, sorry, that was a good swing. Um, just guys around me helping me. Oh, get there. Get there. Safe! No! We, if we have replay, we would, that you, were, you would <laughs> you, be, you think you'd you say would be right. And Distance of. Oh, yeah, of yeah, yeah. I finished, I finished my throwing program um, a couple, few weeks, a couple weeks ago. There goes the runner. Pitches downstairs, ball four. Some to throw the ball to second base. He can't even step off at this point. On the ground, they go to second for one. The relay to first, no chance to get the double play. This ball hit pretty well to left. Going back is Hodo. Can he get there? Yes, he can. Why? In an inner squad game, all right? Because yep. they're playing against each other. They know each other. They've been around each other. Nobody's in the stands but a handful of scouts. It, it becomes a lot different. This ball's fair down into the corner. Blue on his way to second base. Sliding double on a one-out double. The are incredibly important. This ball hit well into left center. It's got some carry on it. Brown able to catch it, get up against the wall, tagging his blue on his way to third. What a nice play by Porter Brown. To hit well to center. Kennedy with a beat on it, though, looking up into the sun, puts it away. Brown goes out of pitch outside the zone. Injury. Howard's 2-0 delivery to Daly. Out to center. And actually, Faltini will make the play again. Got him right there. And